Welcome to Drive 615. Let's go for a lunch in the new E-Ray. That might be a world record. Welcome back to Drive 615. My name is Byron, and today I'm at the National Corvette Museum Motorsports Park to drive the all new E Ray. Huge shout out to them. Thank you so much. They've been great to me over the years. I came up here from Nashville, drove my Z06. And I am super excited for this E Ray because it's the first electrified all wheel drive Corvette, it's the quickest Corvette in the history of Corvettes, and I just love how it's the perfect blend of both worlds. It's a grand tour, and it's also a track weapon that you can drive all year round. As always in my reviews, we'll take a look at the exterior, the interior, then we'll go out and take it for a drive on the track. But before we dive into that, I want to talk about how you can win an E-Ray for yourself. The International Motor Racing Research Center, which is dedicated to preserving and sharing the history of motorsports, is giving away a 2024 E-Ray Convertible 3LZ. The giveaway ends on April 7th, so if you're watching this, it's not too late, but don't wait around. You don't want to miss out on this. To enter, just click the top link in my description or the top pinned comment. And if you use code DRIVE615 at checkout, you'll get an extra 50% of entries. So enter now, support a good cause, and hopefully, win yourself an E-Ray. Good luck to you guys. Let's go ahead and take a closer look up front. On the E-Ray, you've got wider fenders, wider quarter panels, and wider fascias, as well as matching body colored accents, which really give it a nice refined look. But I want to showcase a few things here on the profile. The ground effects package comes standard on the E-Ray, as does the rear spoiler. And if you look down through here, you've got your E-Ray badging, and this accent right here is paint matched to the body of the vehicle. It looks similar to a Z06 in some aspects for sure, but certain things kind of set it off and make this E-Ray unique. As far as the wheels go, we've got wider wheels on the E-Ray. We're sitting on 275 3020s in the front. These are the Michelin Pilot Sport All Season 4 Plus. And in the rear, we've got 345, 25, 21. So the offset and stance on this is very aggressive, but it will also give you a comfortable drive, or so I hear. We're about to get out and experience it. Let's go ahead and take a look at the rear. Up top, you've got the different E-Ray badge, different than that of the Stingray. These eye holes here are actually cut out. And the biggest distinction between this and the Z06 is the placement of the exhaust. Still a quad exhaust, but it's two and two versus the four circle exhaust right here in the middle, like on the Z06. So the back end kind of looks like that of the Stingray, the side, front, and other angles kind of look Z06. Again, it's that nice blend of the two. I like these body colored accents throughout. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at the interior. Got E Ray badging down here on the door sill. Got E Ray on the bottom of the steering wheel. Wow, there you go. Let's watch this little startup sequence it's going to give us. You can see the battery there in the center of the vehicle. So I want to show you stealth mode. So I pressed this one time. I selected the drive mode. I'm going to put it over in stealth. And it says it uses the electric motor for quiet operation at low speeds. And the transition from electric to engine power takes two to four seconds. So basically you can use stealth mode where it will only use the front wheels to power the vehicle. It's a fully electric mode. You can do it for three to four miles. And it speeds up to 45 miles an hour. So let's go ahead and start it up in stealth mode. Wow, absolutely silent. Look at that. That is so cool. I'm revving it, giving it throttle, absolutely no sound. This vehicle is on, absolutely zero sound from the V8 in the rear, fully operated by the electric motor right now. That is so cool. So let's go ahead. Wow. That's so cool. It's literally like a, wow. Okay, now you put me into drive mode. And take a look at that. So I do wanna take a look at the infotainment system because it's got some new features. Now I've started it up and we can really hear the roar 
of that LT2 6.2 liter V8. So we've got gauges here that show the electric output and the engine output. So I'm purely on engine at this point. If we go on to dyno, it'll also give us some stats and show us how much horsepower is coming from the E all wheel drive motor and the battery versus the engine. And then we come over here to data. We can see how much charge we've gained, how much charge we used, and how much fuel we've actually saved. So this is really cool to see this new level of, again, that blend of what you're seeing, electric and engine. And basically down the center of this vehicle, you know, underneath all these buttons and the core of the vehicle is a 1.9 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery. The battery is self-charging just through regenerative energy capture. As you're driving, you're charging up power. Another new thing for the E-Ray is this button right here. When you press this, this will charge up the battery. So whenever you go out on the track, you'll actually see it actively deplete. And then going through turns, you can actually hit that button. So the motor shuts off, it charges for a few turns and then it'll disengage and then you got full power again. That's incredible. So it's yep. fully, I mentioned this earlier, it's fully self-charging. The battery just charges itself on regenerative. Uh, yeah, yeah, so it'll charge off regenerative braking, but whenever you're on the track, you actually do need to engage it okay. with that. That'll be your fastest way of charging it. Um, like I said, as you come off a straightaway, you can hit that button, go through the S's, go through certain sections of the track where you're not gonna be full throttle, you'll be yep. turning and then it'll be charged up during that, that way by the straightaway. You can access all 655 horsepower. If we go between the different modes, we've got sport mode, which is really cool. It shows an E-Ray there, kind of driving on some canyon roads. I'd like to see what we got for track. Wow, look at that, we got some kind of cars racing. It looks like a video game. Let's go over and see what tour gives us. It's kind of going for a nice scenic drive. My mode's gonna be however you want to customize it and edit it accordingly and then weather mode. That's really cool, kind of driving through city in the rain. Again, the cool thing about this vehicle is you can drive this all year round. You can drive it in the rain, you can drive it in the snow, you can drive it in rough conditions. You're not gonna go off-roading in it, yeah, but of course, this is a lot more practical and a lot more drivable than that of my C7. I am six foot five inches tall and I've got plenty of headroom in this. I could actually put my seat back a little bit farther. I'm comfortable in this. I'm more comfortable than this than my C7. Same with the legroom. With moving this to a rear engine, mid engine, you get more legroom up front because it can kind of reconfigure. And even with that battery up front, I've still got a nice amount of legroom at my height. You want to take a quick look underneath the hood. So we open that up. You actually can't see any battery up here. It's all deep within but you still get a great amount of storage through here you got a 12 volt plug through there and a little spot here where you can kind of put like a cargo net or tie things down if needed but fairly simple up here again a lot of the magic happens underneath behind the scenes some of the other cars are getting back you can drive a z06 on the track you can drive a c8 and you can drive the e-ray all here at the ncm motorsport park it's a gorgeous day to get out and drive fast and that's exactly what we're gonna do. Before we go out and track this, I'm gonna do a couple revs for you and let you listen to the exhaust. That sounds incredible. Let's see how it drives. All right, guys, we're about to go on the track. I'm really excited for this. A lot of my reviews, I drive the car for a full week. So it's, you know, I've had time to kind of gather my thoughts and collect it. This is real time. This is my first time actually driving the E-Ray, so all these reactions are gonna be real. They're uh, gonna be real time, and I'm just super stoked. Here we go. Wow, <laughs> let's go. This is a really, really fun track. I've been out here on a lot of different cars, been out here on my C7 Z06. I've actually tracked a Z06 out here one time, C8. I'm gonna get to drive that again later today. Now it doesn't sound as, as loud and as visceral as the Z06, that's for sure. But it's still got an amazing sound to it. And it's got some just intense power. Golly. Wow, there's some deers out on the track. Oh my gosh, gotta slow the roll. They just jumped over the tire wall over there. I don't know if anyone saw that in the camera. But yeah, this is just such a fun track because it's got a lot 
a variety to it. A lot of big sweeping corners, some elevation change here. We're going deep in, down a corner here. This is probably one of my favorite tracks I've driven. And it's incredible because they test a lot of the Z06s out here. Sorry, they test a lot of the Corvettes out here. All right, guys, we're going to hit the straight. I'm charging up on the battery here. And here we go. Oh, yeah. 122. I definitely could go faster, but again, I'm still kind of warming up here getting my feelings and bearings for the car. These drivers out here are second to none with how well they are. So I'm following a lead car right now just so I can kind of follow their lines, see their brake points, see their entry and exit point. And coming out of this corner, I'm really laying into the throttle. <laughs> triple digits in the back ah uh, yeah I feel so confident and I really tell that with this all-wheel drive system it's like it, it's making calculations that I can't even fathom behind the scenes based upon how I'm driving and it's essentially predicting how it needs to drive to keep me planted help me deliver as much power as possible. Broke loose a little bit there. Granted, I was going 65 miles an hour through a corner. This corner always gets me. You, you basically go straight towards it and then an immediate jerk back in this all-wheel drive system. <laughs> oh, it's so cool. spaceship it gets a little it gets a little whine that I haven't heard in any of the models I've driven I think that's the battery oh it's like it's like it's like a supercharger whine oh even though we've just got this LT2 small block powertrain I feel like it's just a totally different animal I am loving this oh. <laughs> uh, I know I'm not the fastest guy on the track out here but I sure have a hell of a lot of fun now I'm gonna test out this I'm gonna push here I'm gonna charge up that battery there getting a little bit of charge I'm at 84 percent so I'm getting some extra horsepower from the battery I'm in the straight now I'm flooring it I'm getting over 100 horsepower from the battery, and we're cranking. Woo! Oh. Oh. Dude. I, if you ever get the chance to come out here and experience driving this track, <laughs> it's like a noise that I'm just so not used to. Uh, you know, I'm used to the either the supercharged V8 growl or just a typical V8. But when that kicks in, when that battery kicks in, and you're getting that bonus horsepower, heavy triple, oh my gosh, that's the fastest I've ever been through this back little corner area. And it feels very well balanced, I'll say that. I've driven an NSX out on this track, and a lot of people are kind of comparing this car to the NSX. That thing is very nose heavy. This feels very well proportioned. It almost could say it's a little more, feels more well balanced than that of the Z06 because you got that electric motor up front which is powering the front wheels. That balances out even more because this mid-engine design already took the C8 to another level with its weight distribution. And I think this E-Ray is really opening up the door to something spectacular. I can't wait to see what their fully electric version is going to be. But let me just tell you, this hybrid is a hell of a car. I mean, I am ripping.
loving up this track. And I just, it's such a cool feeling. It is such an amazing feeling when that battery kicks in. When that battery kicks in, it's like you got the one-two punch. You got that full power. I've got 100% charge now and I've been driving quite a bit. That charge is on. It's regenerative, so this battery is self-charging. You've got the battery in the center of the vehicle, which again, probably helps lower that center of gravity, a little bit of weight. I'm gonna shut up for this last lap. Let's let you guys watch as I have some fun. the front wheels are now playing a factor in driving so it does feel a little bit stickier in that regard which is fantastic when you're out on the track not sure how that's going to translate in a real world setting on the brakes hard let's finish out this lap strong sweating one because I drive with the AC off to give you guys better audio and a more visceral experience but two because I was absolutely putting this vehicle through its paces that was absolutely fantastic he's giving me the thumbs up there man I, initial thoughts the e-ray is absolutely killer it's the perfect blend um, again, a track weapon as you just experienced. I'm sure there's, again, people that can push this a lot harder, but it's just an absolute blast. The coolest part about this vehicle is when you kick in both motors and you get that full 655 horsepower, it's just incredible. That was amazing. That was good. How, how'd I drive? Good? Oh, really? All right. Hey, he said I drove great. And now we're gonna go experience the launch control. All right, guys, here we go. Zero to 60 in the E-Ray. Yeah, I gotta put it in drive first. Amateur hour, sorry, sorry. Okay. Zero to 60 launch in the E-Ray, here we go. That's mind-boggling. Guys, absolutely mind-boggling. 2.1, 2.1, look at this. Holy crap. 2.1. It's a new record. New record. Yeah, new that might be a world record, I don't know. That's insane, guys. Just did a 2.1 seconds, zero to 60 in the E-Ray. That might be a world record. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down in the comment section below and be sure to get entered into the giveaway. Again, the link is at the top of the description or the top pinned comment. 
get entered. Use that code DRIVE615 to get your extra 50% entries. And thanks again, guys. Good luck and golly, that's amazing.